Oh, that's perfect. We can burn some of that splintered wood that we uh, we have an abundance of now. Yeah, plank. Okay, do it. 86. Make another one. 92. Uh, make another one. And that should be it. Yep. Alright, we're Fab 4. Uh, we'll keep one of the carding paddles. And we'll see if we can uh, discard the rest. Or if we can uh, destroy the rest. And yeah, gave us a little bit of splintered wood back. Uh, Krill Kama, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. Man, today's been a good day already. Three follows. Makes me feel like I'm doing something right. Even though, between you and me, I know better. Alright, MP3 player off. We don't need that. Uh, let's see here. So, we should be able to get the beginnings of... Yep, see, there's the Light Survivor hood, which we couldn't make before because we didn't have the Fab 4. So, it's definitely a step in the right direction. I don't know that we can make the Survivor suit. Uh, no. So we'll probably have to be Fab 5 to make the suit. <clears throat> but, I mean, you can see I need four Kevlar plates for one of those. I need either a pair of tactical gloves or Kevlar plates for those. Same here. So, you need a lot of Kevlar to make these. But, luckily for us, I've been collecting. Uh, apparently not as much as I thought. Must have been the other game. Uh... Okay, Krull. Krull it is. Um, this is... I'm doing a uh, Silat build. Uh, I did one with Krav Maga, and I wasn't uh, real thrilled with it. Uh, so I started a Silat guy, and I've been pretty happy with this guy. We've got... Uh, what I got here? we got a homemade half pike that we're rocking. Gives us some range attacks. Doesn't give us much of anything else. But this is just a, a temporary measure because we were we were taking some damage in in combat. Uh, my trench coat kept getting ripped, and I kept getting upset about it. So um, we're gonna try to do a, a spear, or eventually the iron shod quarter staff. But we gotta have a forge, which actually we're at Fab Four now. Good lord! There we go. Uh, rock. Oh, it's Fab Five. Ah, I thought it was Fab Four. Uh, I haven't done a lot with the the mutagens or anything. Um, I had one game that I've been playing off stream that I found a bunch of them. Uh, I raided a uh, really pretty uh, pretty significantly sized lab, and I found like ten or twelve of them. Uh, wasn't brave enough to play with them at the time. So, yeah, I mean, if I find something cool, absolutely. And uh, I didn't take, like, um, was it Robust Genetics, I think it is, where you only get the positive mutations. Um, so any mutations we get from radiation, you know, <laughs> I think, what is it, like a two-third chance of bad and a one-third chance of good. So we might end up with, I don't know, a stumpy arm growing out of our head or something. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So we gotta be Fab 5 to do a forge. I swear it was Fab 4. Can I make... Uh, yeah, it's an electric forge. I can't do that. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's the kiln that was uh, Fab 4. Oh, God. I really wish it would clear that. Charcoal kiln, that's Fab 3, Fab 3. Clay kiln, that's Fab 4. Yeah, maybe that's what I was thinking of. Uh, we unfortunately don't have any clay, but, uh, as a swamp, yeah, and I don't see any river banks or anything either. So, we may not be able to do urban city block, yeah, this is, none of that's water. Six years in, <laughs> I'd be pissed. Um, normally I'll let my guys die. You know, if they die, they die, right? But I do have one character that I've had, 
I think he's into winter, so not even quite a year. And I've save scummed him a couple of times because he's kind of my my test bed, my learning character. Um, but all the ones I've been playing on stream, uh, it, if they die, they die. I mean, that's part of the that's part of the game. That's part of the entertainment. All right, I gotta figure out what I'm doing here to get. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. I need uh, what about an anvil? Let's start there. So if I want an anvil, uh, I need the crucible, and I need a charcoal forge, because I can't make a torch. Oh, what the hell happened there? Uh, sorry about that, crawl. That was not my intention. Streamlabs is apparently being a little overzealous. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to go in and, uh... I'll have to go in and, uh... Turn that down a little bit. That's a little, uh, a little more than I intended. Yeah, I don't, uh... <laughs> pizzed? Pizzed? Yeah. No, I mean... I, I've got the stream marked as, as, uh... Mature, so... You know... As long as it's not, you know, overtly racist or sexist or anything like that. But, yeah, I've only been streaming for mm, about a month. So, all of this is still fairly new to me. So, yeah, for today, I guess, you know, it is what it is. But I'll, I'll modify that. All right. Charcoal Forge. So, that's got to be probably where we're going. I don't even have a recipe for it. It sucks. Uh, I hate being stuck at this spot right here where I, I'm either short of tools or one level short of a skill or something like that to, uh, to get uh, some improvements going here. Uh, what do I got for food? Uh, sure, fruit juice. Great. Wonderful. Well, what can I make for weapons? Can I make anything else? Uh, I can make that quarterstaff, but that doesn't give me the reach attacks. The machete also doesn't give me the reach attacks, but that, that damage... And that to hit bonus, and that moves per attack, and the parry, and it works with Silat. Oh my god, it's so good. I would love to be able to make that. Oh, those hulks and those juggernauts are, oh, they're so bad. I mean, if you can keep them at range, it's not so bad, but as soon as they get up in, uh, up in your face, I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. This guy's a martial arts guy. If I have to go up against a hulk, I'm going to be in real bad shape. But uh, my other character was all uh, ranger, you know, bows and arrows. And uh, in this particular build, I'm playing on uh, OE stable. Um, bows are pretty OP, actually. <laughs> uh, I think they nerfed them uh, in some of the experimental builds. So, <laughs> yeah, this is this is what I want. But I need the uh, I need the, the crucible. Yeah, I just don't want to get thrown, you know, through a brick wall or something. So I, I know I've, I've, I've tangled with those guys before. Uh, they're not, they're not too fun. I'm only what seven days in on this run, so, and evolution is set to normal, so we shouldn't have anything. Uh, we shouldn't have anything nasty yet. All right, well, that part of the stream is working. That's good. All right. I feel like I'm just spinning my wheels here right now. Uh, da -da -da -da. I got. I can go get plenty of steel. That's not a problem. Electric forge. I can't. I need to. Uh, Actually, 
or a welding goggle. See, I can't make the makeshift arc welder yet either. Hmm. Maybe I should just push for Fab Five. Small plastic bottles or banded wooden cartwheels. Why do that every freaking time? Small plastic bottle. I don't have plastic mold. Uh, I don't have the plastic chunks or the plastic balls. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> yes! It's always good to power anything possible by nuclear, regardless of how ridiculous it is. That is absolutely 100% reasonable. Start a fire. Uh, can I make a wooden spear? Really? I don't need that. Uh, we can make the quarter staff. Let's, uh, that's not going to increase anything, no. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. We'll put our fab up some swim goggles. And it wouldn't carve Oh, I need the nails. Oh, I need so many nails. So the other thing was the plastic bottles, which we didn't have the... Mm. All right, well, in that case, we're going out. Close the door behind you, dum dum. I'm gonna go check, uh, I'm gonna go pick up some nails from this resort. Uh, the zombies did a real number on it, so there's just nails laying all over the place. Oh my god, just. Ugh. Hello, escaped cows. There was a guy on the um, Cataclysm Discord that posted a picture earlier today of him riding a cow wearing plate mail with an all pike, just jousting zombies. It was pretty hilarious. So these are all hinges and planks. So those had to be the, the doors. All right, so we got to find um, upstairs. Upstairs is where we want to go. So we've already pretty much cleaned this place out. Uh, there were two doors that were still locked. Yeah, one nail. Thank you very much for that. Oh, God. You mean one nail at a time, really? Uh, yeah, they just smashed this place to pieces, but uh, we cleared everybody out, except for those two doors. Hey, there's six nails. Uh, so we should be safe to be in here with our millions of backpacks on, just picking up nonsense. Oops, don't go out the window. I will take those strings. You can always use the strings. Always use the strings. This is the other locked door. Locked door. No, not door hinges. Nails. 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 Hey, raincoat. I actually will need. Uh, will need one of those. I didn't pick much up when I was through here before. Uh, I was just killing and uh, killing and clearing. So there might be. Uh, definitely take that. I need the leather. I don't know that I have a towel. I'll grab a towel. Always good to have around. Uh, 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 nothing, nothing. What is this? Pillow? Yeah. Long string. Oh, I picked up the sheets on accident. Well, if we uh, 
I haven't gotten a Flamingo. Um, I haven't really played much of the 1.4. Uh, I played quite a bit of the 1.3. Uh, got into hard mode and beat the uh, jungle golem. I think is as far as I got. And then something came up and I stopped playing and then I just I never made it back to it. But I was thinking about streaming that. Um, but it's kind of a flooded uh, flooded market right now. You know, every everybody and their brother is streaming. That I feel like I'd kind of get swallowed up in the uh, in the noise. So I've been playing this shotgun arm. <laughs> it's amazing. I never find good CBMs. I always find the ones where it's like this CBM helps you fall asleep faster. It's like yeah, really. I see guys with yeah shotgun arms and uh, just all sorts of nonsense CBMs, and I got this. Garbage. It's just the way it goes, I guess. Hey, Pilsner. Actually, I don't really need to pick that up. We found a keg full of Pilsner upstairs that we're going to take home with us. Uh, we're going to take those because I think we can use those as the windbreaker, at least on the base of... Uh... Yeah, uh, probably not this week. Maybe next week or the week after. I think I'm going to do a Terraria run. Um, like I said, it's being a small channel. You know, I've got, uh, now, thanks to you, uh, 15 followers now. So, I feel like if someone was searching for someone to watch Terraria, uh, they're not going to come over here, right? Ooh, thread, duct tape, sweet action. Where with something like this, I can click on... You know, Cataclysm, and there's only going to be like two people online playing it. Um, I'm take the raincoat. Long string. Matchbook, I got plenty of those. I don't need any more. Utility vest, I feel like I could use that. Yeah, used to make uh, Survivor Backpack, Survivor Harness. Yeah, 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 yeah. We want that. We want that. Hey, I would never begrudge a man having a Guinness. Uh, I'm Irish uh, descent, so, you know, Guinness is, uh, it's in my blood. Ooh, Zannies. India Pale Ale. Ugh. Can of beer. Pottle of tequila. <laughs> Yeah, where uh, where was that where we found the kegs? I think they're up here. No, that's the roof. Oh, they're right here. Yeah, aluminum keg full of European Pilsner. 50 liters of beer. Should last me just a little bit. And then there's uh, an empty one right here, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I did um, the expert mode for a little while. Um, that was it was pretty rough, and I was watching um, Splattercat play Master Mode. <laughs> it just looks like an exercise in frustration. <laughs> like at least with this game, yes, it's difficult, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but by and large, when you die, it's probably your fault in some way. And uh, you can learn from those mistakes. Like, you know, I have learned from my mistakes not to go into fights with a backpack strapped to me and to make sure that I always refill my stamina uh, before I go to new areas. All right? Because you only have to get run down by zombies one time for you to learn that very important lesson. <laughs> Yeah, I like watching. Uh, I like watching Splat. He uh, he's always got something new going on in his channel. Uh, 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 uh. All right, I think we've gotten most of what we're gonna get out of here in terms of. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Sleepless leather dust here. There's nothing else I can break it down for uh, leather patches. 
got most of, I think, what we're going to get out of here. Hey, more duct tape. Uh, I've watched video of Project Zomboid, and I am I'm on the fence about purchasing it. I want to, because uh, I think with you know what I'm doing, you know it, it fits the channel, and it's my kind of game. And uh, it's only what what is it like 15 bucks, something like that. Like it's it's really really reasonable. I watched. Um, yeah, Rykon's really cool. Um, sometimes I'm in the mood for Rykon, sometimes I'm not. Like, you know, sometimes with him, uh, it's 20 minutes of roleplay and explanation for, you know, five minutes of action. Which, I'm not begrudging him that. You know, that's, that's his channel, and that's his fan base. And sometimes it's very cool. Sometimes I just want to see some zombies get smashed. <laughs> Vormithrax uh, is probably where I learned most of what I know about this game. Uh, Vormithrax, Avac, 